Hello, my name's Nick. And my name's Corey, and today we're gonna be doing something weird. We're gonna be watching the finale of Bridgerton without any context, and we're gonna be drinking every time it's too downright prehistorically Yeah, every time it's too down bad, every time it's too corny, every time it's too corny, every time it makes you feel a little bit of the tingly in your giblets, uh, every time it makes you get the butterflies in, in your stomach, every time stomach? it makes you- Stomach, yeah, stomach. That I heard stomach. Well, that's because you're Russian and you have a stomach, but I have a stomach, and every time I get butterflies in it, I'm gonna take a shot. Yo, me in your tummy. No, that's Kami, and that's again Russian. <laughs> All right, Bridgerton season one finale after the rain. The Duke and Duchess. Season ending ball of oh, duchesses. Season ending ball signals a turning point for their marriage and ushers in changes of fortune and fate to those around them. This makes them sound like lucky little Keebler elves. You gotta rub their tummies and then they give you wishes or something. Hey, little Bridgerton family. I wish for you to stop making your peasants in society feel so much like slaves. Can you please stop? No, we will pass a new law to make you into extra peasants. <laughs> Hello, uh, rich man who's attractive and rich woman who's also attractive. My name is Tiny Tim. I don't have a leg. Also, the entire world smells like shit because it is covered in shit. Can you please God. make it not smell like God. shit? Gods, can you please remove this? You know specimen? that saying of don't eat, don't shit where you eat? I eat my shit. I can't do anything besides God, shit God, can you eat. Can you remove his other leg? <laughs> If you guys want to support your boys Nick and Corey, and you want to check out the full, uncut, beautiful commentary, go to Patreon below, and make sure to leave a comment there saying how much you enjoy your time at the Looney Farm. Yeah, let's begin. Uh, we've only seen the first episode, by the way. I know you mentioned that we have no context of this. Well, but all, okay, so from what I remember, this is what I remember from last time Bridget. Bridgerton. Uh, there's a girl, she got shipped away like cattle. There's a guy, he's really f attractive for whatever reason the in this time Duke. period. Uh, everyone has- the Duke of Bridgewater? I don't remember. Everybody in this uh, show that's a guy has mutton chops, except for the main dude who has a nice sexy stubble. Also, Lady Whistledown, she's like the f uh, gossip girl of this world. She is the gossip girl of 300 years ago. Yeah. And the main character, the girl, uh, who's being sold as a goat. It made a fake marriage to the guy. And is self-aware that her literal only purpose in royalty and existence is for her first poon. Yeah, you gotta you gotta have the sexy times, otherwise- For the first you're, time. You're not uh, grade mm. A prime beef. Her brother, oh, he her brother's passed a around some cutlets. He is a Occurred during the markedly wet season of 1804. Oh, oh wet season. Him markedly wet. <laughs> Shot to that. <laughs> wet season? Yeah. I don't think it means what we think it means, but it's what I want it to mean. <laughs> oh, that's the queen. Or the, the one who like sets people up. Yeah, you can tell by the bigness of her hair. And you can tell by the disgust in her eyes. See the rarest accomplishment. <gasps> Where's my man? Is he out porking? Wait, did he leave in the middle of the night after satisfying me like I wanted? But he didn't satisfy me, did he? This guy just looks like a vamp. Only two things and she looks like a depressed. They don't look happy. Oh, they're being painted. That guy looks sexy. He doesn't that have That guy looks chops. like he's like, yeah, can you spread your legs a little? I gotta paint them better. You are permitted to smile. What if you found out that the person painting you and your wife was sitting behind the painting and actually just Relieving himself the whole time. You can't see that? No. Like, he's angled in a way that you can't see that. Where he's painting with one hand and the other hand's just on his jerkin. I mean, if that's the way that he's a savant and he just does it. You'd be okay with it? How am I to judge? What if you found some extra white spots in the painting? Listen, if I can cover it up and then put it behind glass and never have to look at it, then it doesn't matter. True practice. It literally is the less mutton choppy a guy is, the more attractive he is in the show. This guy is half chop, so he's half sexy. And the main fella is no, no chop. I take count on your attendance. It seems I have little choice in the matter, seeing as I'm one of the hosts. It sounds like they have a little bit of bickering between them. I, yeah. So what I don't know yet is how in love they are or aren't. Because it was a fake marriage, it was a sham, but they're actually both attractive, which means you know they are going to like each other. But they don't like each other right now. Yeah, they definitely don't. Because he, does, he doesn't even want to touch her. See? This, oh! Pff, 
Here, let me place my finger gently into oh. the crevice of your clavicle. Look at her. Look at her. And that, then look at you inquisitively with one eyebrow raised. That just triggered her. Right That's there. Love. She's already wet. She's already wet. It's oh, over. Oh, look at that half smile. That Mona oh, Lisa smile. Oh, God. He has the... You, uh, this is what people... My word. <laughs> this is what people on Twitter call it. They call it the... Uh, Don't say female gaze. No, no, no. Not the female gaze. Light skin half eye or something. It's like light skin black dudes that do this. It's the rock's face. The inquisitive eye. Yeah. He's not even black, he's Hawaiian. This guy? No. Oh, the rock. rock. The rock is whatever he wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> the rock is Black Adam. A very picture of devotion. Oh, look at that. It's almost as if they love each other. Wait, so have they not? <laughs> I'm sure they have. <laughs> Who knows? Bridge of 10. All right, one shot to uh, tenderly bring someone's clavicle. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew! You want to get a good thumb in there. He didn't. He didn't thumb it. He only middle fingered it. You need to be careful, Benedict. Madame Delacour may not be who you think she is. And I, I feel like they're trying to say Bellacour, but it's they're saying like Bellacroix. Bell Bell mm. But that's how you say it. It's actually literally. It's, 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 be, it's basically Lacroix. Delacroix. Bellacroix. But what's it? Oh, it is Delacroix. Delacroix. I, I, I'm just thinking about the fizzy goodness It of is, it's LaCroix. a LaCroix. That's, that's the person who invented it. You want to know how I first invented LaCroix? Well, first off, my great-great-great-grandmother, she had a yeast infection. And she had a little <laughs> bit of the bubbles in her pee, you see. And I extracted the bubbles from her pee, and then I sold the pee to everyone and drank the bubbles myself. And one year we had a drought. <laughs> I need a dress for my sister's ball. I've got just the thing you for you. You already have a dress for your sister's ball. I need what, what kind of Jedi mind trick is this? You already have a dress for your sister's ball. How I wish the author would write something flattering about them. Is that a fella trying to sneak out? Maybe. Good for her business and... Good for her business? Oh, is she a Lefran? <laughs> Lefran? Is she a Lacroix? Whether those oh! Customers that's, uh, terms. that's the brother who f He found a new one. Is he done piping the one who Alright, well shot to that. Uh, he's trying to sneak he's out. Trying to, he's trying to do the old uh, sneaky peepee. -pee. He's trying to do the old uh, w walk of fame. I know why you're here. Oh, they're, they're, she's literally talking about him. She knows. She knows her brother is here sleeping with this lady. But you must know, I have no intention and she's covering. of compromising anyone. And then he just walks in and shits the bed? It would help if he was dressed. Because the queen is enraged. So whoever whistled down is should be careful. Oh, so no one knows who whistled down is yet. I think that's for the best. Whistle down is smart enough to take care of herself. Is she supposed to be whistled down? I thought the. They think she is. Oh, so she is. She's Delacroix. Lock the door and get back in bed, you naughty little girl. All right, well, shot that was, to that. That was lock corny. the door and drop your drawer. The only other time I felt some heat down in my nethers when someone said door is when uh, that one special guy in my life said, Hodor! <laughs> the one special guy? Hodor! Your Grace. Your Grace. Heading to Will's boxing match. Hmm. They did boxing back then? Of course, that's all they did for fun. But it was more of like, it was called <clears throat> fisticuffs because all they did is go like this. Hey, you want a tussle? Hey. <laughs> hey. hey, you want a tussle? Hey. And instead of chops, whoever has the biggest mustache, that's the winner. Oh, true, the, the old big, Big d stash. Mm -hmm. I not deserve an explanation. Oh, they're married? Yeah, they got married in like the second episode. Oh, they're doing the fake relationship. The whole, we're gonna fake our relationship so we don't have to get committed, but then we're gonna end up falling in love anyways. Yeah, because they're attractive. That's what happens in shows like this. You can tell who's supposed to be together based on how attractive the actors true, are. True, true. I think whoever hires for these shows is like, all right, we need the most attractive like people to be the ones that Everyone place your bets the Iron if you win. Dude, Iron Fist sounds like someone who puts someone down and then fists their butt when they're down. Did they not have steel back then? Because iron just is like, man. No one, you don't say steel fist. Why not? It's stronger, lighter, faster. Yeah, just overall better than iron. But it doesn't sound as cool. That's like, ah, I'm the tin fist. <laughs> tin fist. Anyone who knows you must know your word is worthless. Bum, bum, bum. That's all you had back then. You can take the deed to my house. Oh, he is betting his life away. So this guy is a decrepit gambler. You know if you ever bet the deed to your house, you're in over your head. No, I think when you like, when you start <laughs> selling organs, that's when you're in over your it's head. It's basically the same shit. 
No, D tier house is really bad. I don't think anyone in the entire oh. history of the world, not a single person has ever bet the D to their house and then came out on top and been like, that was a good decision. <laughs> like the people who sold their houses to buy Bitcoin and then the market yeah. crashed. You ready? As a celebrity. Oh, he's supposed to throw. You can tell based on their eye contact. Yeah, the Willy Wonka guy seems shady. Willy Wonka guy's probably been like, listen, you throw or I feed you to the fishes. How much is the deed to someone's house worth? If you bet that, like, what do you get in return? Is it like the deed to your house, house plus like 10 bucks? <laughs> you get two houses. So that's Philip's brother out there? The one who actually porked her? George? I have no f clue. It looks like this girl had a relationship with George, the crane, and the George brother, the jungle, and the brother the was the, the leader of the pack, and he found out, and then he killed his brother? I don't know. I think he died in the battlefield. Oh. That's what she said. But it seems my business here is not quite finished. I would very much like to speak to Miss Thompson. I have a question for her. Does she like sloppy seconds? Oh, I was right! <laughs> oh! After my brother clearly took liberties with your virtue. Meaning he took her virginity. Doing my duty. <laughs> Ew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he wants to pick up her. Wait. It's, he it's took the, her virtue. It's meaning the legal he... sloppy seconds. It's, it's his duty the to. Fuck her. Legal so uh Imagine if he was his father instead, the guy who passed away. It's like, as the father of your previous betrothed. I must fulfill my duty. The wife's like, well, husband, what are you doing? Shut up! This is legally my obligation. Come here, Thompson, I will f you now. You see, there has been one crane inside you, and so now there should be another. <laughs> There's a crane baby coming out of you one way or another. Are these the cranes? Yeah, he's the crane. Sir Philip Crane is the brother oh. of Sir George. Do you think the c crane? Do you think two cranes can make an Eiffel Tower? Not when one of them's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically Wars has been done. I do not know this man. I do not love this man. Does it matter? You are literally being sold off. It's not your choice. Just pretend, God. George cared for you very much, Miss Thompson. And that will never change. Just pretend. I wanted you to be looked after. I, is this guy down bad or is he up good? Uh, it he makes sounds it pretty seem, up good right it now. It makes it sound like he's up good, but he's literally just getting married to someone and now she be his property. I believe you should now take your leave. Wow. The pimp is like, you're gonna get beatings after. So because of the stations of the world, he's actually trying to do her a favor. Yeah, because once you've been uh, <coughs> deflowered, you are now worthless property. What is that look? Jesus Christ. I think the one on the right just wants to sleep with anything that moves. What have you done? How could you? She's like, you damn bitch. So it is neither necessary nor acceptable for me to participate in any more unwanted arrangements or disingenuous schemes. Damn, Thompson is setting her foot down. Big girl hours. The, the girl that had the close up right before when they were talking, she was the one in the first episode who no one wanted. And she's like the daughter of the Featherington who like- The one who's on the left? Yeah. She's the one that like is the daughter- The one who looked like this? Yeah. So she's, she probably feels the same because she never got anyone that wanted to marry her. So she's like, yeah, f you ma. Blows landing. Make me some money. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Who's this schemy bastard? Oh. He's f***ed her. I know that for sure. Or he's going to. They're making sexy eyes at each other across the ways. They're making really sexy eyes. Look at him. Look at him. Damn. Look at him. He hungers. He wants. And she is ready to take. She can smell it. Oh yeah. Are they gonna f*** right there I think they the already floor? forked. Oh, oh, oh man. my God, under the bleachers. Wait, I didn't know bleachers existed back then. While the fight is going on. All right, geez. She's gonna just pull his old crane out? That's, he's not a crane. Mm. He has a crane regardless. Oh, they're gonna pork right there. <laughs> Jesus I, Christ. I always found it interesting in these shows how they just start dry. Yeah, they just plop it in. No, she's already, okay. No, Whoa, she's ready to go. This is horny, bro. Both grunting and moaning. I like how they got turned on by this fight. I, I like how in both instances <coughs> of what they're showing, blows are being traded. <laughs> no, in the other one, there's no trading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's about to. <laughs> this guy's about to finish. Uh, that did. That was fake as shit. Yeah, that looked. <laughs> Mondrich. 
said a man with confidence. <laughs> While he asked the guy to throw, well, didn't ask, threatened him with his life. Mondrich is gonna get up and he's gonna ruin this fight. He's gonna pull some snatch shit. Uh, I mean, depending on how long he's on the ground, it doesn't matter. The fight's already over. I had no idea that Simon had trouble speaking as a child. Could oh, no. He works so very hard to eliminate the difficulty. Now he's a flawed little character that she wants to fix. That's how these women work, Corey. Well, he fixed his flaw. What's his flaw now? He's still exposed the fact that he had a flaw. That he couldn't now, speak, but now can? It doesn't matter. He had some kind of flaw. It wasn't like a flaw that makes him less attractive. It was a flaw that like he overcame, so now he's even more attractive. Now he's he is a repaired piece of furniture that yeah, needs to be it, placed in the mantle. It's if you, if you have a flaw that's not visible, then you're attractive. Yeah, if, that's, if, that's he, had what, a, if that's he had a the show's third to ear growing diagonally on his forehead. You can't you can't fix that. No, you just have to kill them. You have to take them out back and put them down. I thought you enjoyed breakfast in the morning room. I wish for different scenery today. Oh no. She's stepping out of line, Corey. <laughs> Would you care to join me? I must admit my brothers will think it odd if you do not. It's ask for a favor <gasps> and then salt afterwards. Yup. Yes, I shall join you. Hey, uh, could you do this thing for me? If you don't, my whole family's gonna hate you. But like, I just wanted to ask if you wanted to do this thing for me, huh? you know? Hey, can you do me a favor? Like, I'd really appreciate it if you did. I'd love you a lot. But also, if you don't, you're a mess up and you everyone will hate you and think that you're a bitch. <laughs> Does you this know origami? You guys ever hear about paper football? <laughs> so what you hold do is still. <laughs> you do realize it is only made of paper. This kid's going places. Yeah, this kid's really smart, you can tell. You do realize that's not the real horse. I've seen one in my picture books. This kid's like, actually, that is only paper, which comes from a tree, not horses. To those who may still find themselves out of both choices and hope. Wait, did, did she have a kid? I don't know. Their once fortunes may change. He's sin again. Dude, this guy pipes everyone. I think it's the same girl. Has it been the same girl the whole time? I think it might be. But he's making a pretzel right now. They are doing some pretzely body part things. This guy just is <laughs> everybody. This guy is daddy. Eh, he's brother. Oh, do not tell me you shall find some young lady to lead in a waltz or evening. Oh, do not tell me that you'll be sleeping with someone else. Tell me all about it. Tell me how you will <laughs> them and not me. <laughs> These people in love, maybe. Come with me. Oh! oh! Dude, the way the buttons are cut is so bizarre. Buttons? Muttons. Oh. It's like no, a beard going in and then you just cut it off straight at your lips. This is, this is p p preposterous. I am but a lowly I could never marry you. Is this a story of true love? Impossible. Yeah, I, I think that if this was realistic, it wouldn't happen. He would just tell her this stuff and then leave her at the door. <laughs> Who is this peasant? All right. Why is she following Shot you? Shot to, to make up because they just went at it again. <laughs> but they never had a breakup. It was a not real togetherness. And now it is. Yeah. This now is she's a... been officially invited. You ever have s for the first time after realizing that you guys aren't going to be like just <laughs> buddies? <laughs> Celebratory s <laughs> There's a difference between f buddies s and relationships <laughs> Two dancers at most. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're laughing about. Wonderful today. With Gregory and Hyacinth. Oh shit, when a woman notices how you are with kids, ho ho ho. The, the kid who thought that the fake horse was supposed to be a real horse. You, you were, you know, you were really- Oh, elegant. he doesn't want kids. You were really elegant by telling that little kid not to f off after he insulted your origami. Is that the whole issue, is that he doesn't want kids? It still does not mean I want any of my own. He's so they were scared to have They were gonna be super happy, but he doesn't want kids. He wants to be a bachelor for life. Who went the other day? Where is he? Still out celebrating? One circumstance that's most likely not changed, I imagine. Holy shit. Oh. That was, okay, that was oh. so salty. Oh. That was so salty. The in little, the figurative degree. We need to take a little pre-shot for what we're about to witness, because he's probably going to be at a brothel porking away. Uh, I see there's so, uh, two people's, oh, two other people's, their, their closeness. Shot to the fucking salt those women in a just brothel. exchanged. Someone's yep, yep, he's in a bl yeah. job factory. Yeah. Bl job factory? Oompa Loompa, dumple these dicks. Let me get some naughty little kicks. Yeah. Join us. Oh, oh ambush. He's been bamboozled. This is not the kind of thing that I wanted to happen. My 
dress is yellow. Everyone can see me. I'm like one of those emergency jackets. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm just doing some construction work over here. <laughs> this is so I don't get lost in the crowd. Everyone's wearing blue and black and white. Mine's yellow. Somebody can actually spot Three. me. What? Yeah. <laughs> Do you f Dumbass, are you kidding me? You've been trained. You've literally been trained to be like good with men so someone could pick you. And a guy approaches you and says, Are you enjoying your evening? And your fing audacity to respond what? with What? <laughs> what what'd you say? That's hilarious. You that go on a date. That's I want to take a shot. You go on a date and someone's like, oh, do you, oh, well, what would you like to have this evening? The fish or the 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 chicken? What? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm asking, do you want what do you want to eat for dinner tonight? What? <laughs> well, I, I figured we came out to dinner to eat. Are you hungry? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this is all they taught me. <laughs> like they had no faith in this girl, so they just no. taught her to say what? Everyone, everyone else, they were like, oh, so you have to say this in this eloquent kind of way and uh -huh. respond in a, a witty retort. You just pretend like you can't understand them. Uh -huh. The the intrigue of you not hearing them will draw them in closer, uh -huh. and then you grab gotcha, them. <laughs> That's the only way you'll get a husband. <laughs> Colin, I wish to tell you something. I have something I wish to tell you as well, Ben. You're such can, a good friend. Can I gobble your nuts, Colin? I'm leaving. <laughs> no, Th that's what you say, what? <laughs> it was actually you who inspired me. Oh, the one guy you like? You inspired him to leave? And then, and then he's gonna be like, what did you want to say? You yeah, to there say it is, there it is, there it is. It's always that one. Uh, I, I, I pooped really big earlier. There has <laughs> never been a moment in TV history where two people have been like, I have to say something. Oh no, I have to say something. Okay, you go first. And it's a bombshell. And then Another they say, oh, what did you want to say? And That's now it's nothing. completely irrelevant. Gone, yeah. yeah, shit on. Imagine the one guy this girl likes and thinks she has a chance with because unfortunately her self-confidence is really not, not, it's not hit, it's not batting out with, with a good, good percentage, yeah. right? It's a foul ball. It is a foul ball. It, it is a strike. One too many strikes. What? <laughs> she, just heard the guy tell her, I'm leaving. You inspired me. I think she's That's still, awful. She still has an option though. And her option could be to give the best sloppy ever and convince him to stay. Not where I was going with that, but that is also an option. <laughs> what I was gonna say is, oh, I hate my life. Can I go with you? Yeah, that is another option. <laughs> the preferable option. The, the Featherington woman's like, no, you must stay and be miserable with us. Should we dance? Uh, no, um, I'm. All down for the oh my god, Penelope, you fucking suck! He just invited you to Why dance! Is... Oh, she's sad because he's leaving. She has zero confidence. Come on, or take game. one of these Jonas brothers and dance with him. Oh. Oh. My lord. Oh, that was the guy. No, that was the guy she was with earlier. Give me a moment, my love, and I shall return upstairs. Uh, Why would you show up to the girl's house who is married with flowers? You dumbass. So that's not her dad, but no. maybe it is. I hope it's not. Sienna, what are you doing? What am I doing? What? What? <laughs> what? I am looking out for myself. Excuse me? I am ensuring my own future. Huh? Because I know. Oh, she knows he's a boy. That he's gonna fuck around and not find out. I have a feeling that somewhere between the first episode and this episode, she fucked around. He was piping her and she he told her that she would be part of whatever thing and then he Seth, lied to her. You need to let me go. I take it her husband is gonna take this really well that he showed up at their door with flowers. Nah, he's he's wealthier than him, so it's fine. He sees me for who I am. A piece of meat. Unlike you, he does not wish for me to don some ridiculous gown. You f this guy on the side! How are you content? Excuse me? And neither do I. Dude, what? You just let the guy show up at your door, your husband answered and he had flowers for you. She's sabotaging herself because she's afraid. Factuals. And he tried, and I now- just, I just don't understand how she is with that man. She clearly pipes this fella, and he answered the door and was like, okay, I'm just gonna go in my room Because and he is rich, and the other guy is not. That is why. That's a pretty nice house, bro. All right, metaphorically f once again. He was going to lay pipe. And she said, sorry. He was gonna do more than lay pipe. Sorry, construction zone, no piping for the next three to six hours. He was gonna do more than lay pipe. He was gonna lay pipe and then cement it. Sorry. He was gonna build foundation. Sorry, no construction for the next few days. Are they gonna fall in love here? It doesn't seem like a very dancey song. 
They look like f***ing horses galloping around the room. <laughs> God, this is so bizarre. This is a horrible dance. This is the least romantic dance in the world. I mean, you have to stare each other in the eyes. This is the kind of dance that children do when they're about to throw up from too much candy. And they even spinning. left the room for Jesus. Here, yeah, let us run in circles and spin. Well, let's hop until one of us vomits. This is literally the f***ing teacup ride at Disneyland. <laughs> Without the teacup? They're just going in a circle while spinning. But they're galloping. Well, that's because they didn't invent technology yet to have the actual teacup, so they're just doing it on their own. It's a manual teacup dance. <laughs> it's gonna rain instantly. You're so rich and you're having this outside, you couldn't tell it was gonna rain? Why didn't you check the weather? Where's your oracle? Where's your seer? No, stay with me. Dance. Daphne, can't you tell? It's, uh, we're going to melt out is here. Is Daphne having a right now? Yeah, she is. Oh yeah, she is. Poor shot. This Daphne's imagery. about to do they have wine glasses just full of water? Oh, that oil paint is gonna f***ed. No, oil's protected from water. What, you know that saying of oil and water mix? It's not good. They don't mix. The oil and water mix. They don't mix. They mix. I hate you. <laughs> I know why you made that vow to your father. Is that why he doesn't want to have kids? Because of how bad his father was to him as a kid? Probably. He made you believe that you needed to be without fault in order to be loved, but he was wrong. Oh God, she is talking to his heart. She is pulling the strings right now. He's gonna snap. Unless he's, unless she's wrong. In he's which gonna, case she's gonna just be horrible. I think he's gonna snap in a good way. I cannot continue acting as if I, as if I do not love him. Because I do. He's still doing the f eyebrow. All of it, dude. He can't stop. His it's too powerful. His default face is inquisitive. It is too powerful. Come on, Duke, you know what to do? Break her heart! <laughs> I love how it's raining and like he's not getting wet at all. He is, what no, do you mean? No, no, he's like a little light dusting. Why is she just gonna walk away? Well, cause technically back then, lightning could strike at any moment and they'd be dead. Back then, now it can't, right? Well, because now we have homes with roofs. Where's the butter? It is your husband, Mom. You're saying he is dead. They killed him? He got gang Wait, so what happened to Miss Thompson? What's happening to her? I think that was a ploy. Did they, they make him disappear? They took all the money away. They, they killed him and stole the money. Now she's ruined. Wait, she just kept her money in a unlocked desk? I guess. <laughs> I can't tell if she said that the money's gone or that her husband is gone. Uh, definitely the money. Wait, was that bet the, all of their money? I guess, he, he bet the deed to their house. Okay, that was all of their money. It's gonna happen. You can tell by the midriff and the belly button that's out that he be going to do some stuff. I do not want to be alone. I know that now. But I don't want to be with you. <laughs> and what I do not know is how to be the man you need me to be. She already fell in love with you, buddy. You don't have to do very much else. Just pull it out. You're already attractive and handsome. You're already all the package. <laughs> and you're rich as f***ing powerful. You say attractive and handsome? Yeah. What the f does that mean? Step one, be attractive. Step That's two, like saying, don't be unattractive. Uh, you're hot and sexy. They're making it real. We missed nothing in the show. Thank God we skipped the middle. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that they pretended to be in love and then they actually fell in love because they're both attractive people? F yeah. Just like real life. <laughs> Here it goes, Corey, the ultimate horny scene. Yes. Yes, it's gonna happen! So much sexual tension has been They're building up with these two characters who have not piped are going to pipe right before our eyes. And there's so much time left. If the last if the last 13 minutes of this show are all just them having sex. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Alright, let's do one shot for every 10 seconds that they're having sex. For every nipple we see here. Alright, the first shot was for the kiss. The second shot is for the pipe. Is the pipe coming? The uh, pipe is. Construction is back in order. Wait, was she wearing pajamas under her dress? That's what all women do back then. <gasps> her ankles! Oh my god, her knee! Her knee, Corey! The back of her knee! The leg bone's connected to the bone. Wait, is it in? Both grunting and moaning, you know Wait, what that who means. Who is it in? Oh, it's in. Oh, it's in! All it's right. in! It's in! The field goal is set! Goal! Point for Argentina! Yes, 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 yes! Horny, horny Bridgerton! Horny, horny Bridgerton! Horny, horny Bridgerton! Oh, he's right, okay. giving it to her! Okay, this is a lot. This you can is, tell by the way he's is, going... This is way too fast. Oh, oh, that was quick. That was really quick. That was like... That was like 30 seconds. Okay, realistic shot. <laughs> and she's pregnant. <laughs> Whether you wanted to have kids or not, you All have right. them. All right, realistic, he came in like maybe 15 seconds. Unrealistic, she also came in the same amount of time. Is that his first one though? His first nut? Is it? It could be. Mission complete. If 
This is, I think, the fastest scene I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm really proud of it, actually. Thank you. For this show, this show is like, you know what? Just f all that. We know that you like. S we're just gonna speed past it. Uh. Round two. Jesus. All right, one more shot. They're just kissing, man. No, no, no. When you roll over like that, that's round two. One last shot. True. That means that there's no nut nap coming. I'm a man of the nut nap. <laughs> well, I don't know how old she is. I think she's supposed to be like 14, but he's like 20, which means that he has no refractory period. True. He, he, his gun reloads instantly. I totally got a Penelope, you useless piece of shit. I'm fucking... wearing yellow. Wait, she's still wearing his, her dress? Yeah, it's been like three days. How can she breathe? To enjoy the absence of your dear papa. Oh, so not only was her family of low status, but now her dad is dead and gone and a liar. Oh, because she's the Featherington's daughter? Yeah. Well, I'm sure with Whistledown still on the loose next season, it'll be far more interesting. Wait, so they have seasons of, yeah. of pimping? Yeah, cow season. Duck season, rabbit season. What's happening, Miss Thompson? Are you setting up for next season? Where's she going? Away. Oh, she's leaving with Philip? You beginnings. I guess she decided to go with him. That, okay, sure. No discussion was had, but she's going with the guy. The property's been sold. Crane has been delivered. I finally determined the difficulty, love itself. Removing it from more romantic relations so make me all the better for it. Oh, so he's just- Hell yeah, in cell life, yes. red pilling it up. A loveless <laughs> asshole that pipes for nothing but physical pleasure. I've decided to settle down, but it will not be for love. <laughs> oh my she god. Madame de la Croix last night, then she is not then. Oh, and the other one can't be Lady Whistledown either. Because Lady Whistledown was in that carriage. That decision shall be left entirely up to me. Yours truly. No. Are you fing kidding me? That's a good twist. What the f? That's a good twist. Shots what? 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 <laughs> That's a good twist. The chocolate lady is the lady whistle down. There is no way in hell. There's way in hell. Are you kidding me? There is way in hell, Corey. Wait, to, she was at the party. To Penelope Poop Popper. Oh, she's having a kid already? Yeah, it's been like three Dude, weeks. Dude, that was an efficient nut, I told you. Yeah. All right, fuck, what, Dude, one more shot. First, first. Whoosh. The first nut he blew was a kid? That's efficient. Yeah, didn't, didn't you know that the first kid comes like four months after marriage? Another push. One more push. push. Dude, this is- just like, you're going too slow. <laughs> he just pushes. What would happen if someone pushed down in the stomach? Uh, you would crush the baby. What if it was a gentle push? Uh, you would crush the baby. <laughs> I would hate to have a kid in this time period because it's literally a show. There's like eight people in this room. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the kid just starts going. D -d 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 oh, he's oh, f the kid has you a can, stutter. All right, tell, get where he's gone. You can tell he was holding a fake potato in that scene. That's a fake potato. Now it's real. Right now it's a fake potato. When they're not showing the kid's face, if it, it's a potato. Penelope. That's uh, Penelope's true form. It's Jeremy. Si mm. Jer Jeremy. It is Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> it's the B movie. He's been collecting all the data the entire time. Who the f is Brian Nichols? Probably someone who worked on the show, you asshole. Guys, thank you for watching. Bridgerton with us. Yeah, if you want to check out the full episode, make sure to go down to Patreon below. Patreon.com slash Nick and Corey. And join and get to enjoy the full package. Yeah, and if you like this video and you want to get some down and dirty like uh, Penelope, I guess. F***ing Lady Whistledown. If you want to get whistled whistle downed in the comments, then suck that like button. And let us know if you want us to do more Bridgerton. Goodbye.